let's open this up and see what she's like. That comes with calibration solution, mounting screws, power supply, the pH probe, and the main unit, and that looks like probably a total dissolve, wait, yeah, probably the total dissolve solids meter right there. Already hooked up to it. And last but not least, instructions. Oh, I guess there's some zip ties in here too. Alright, so I will check these instructions out and we'll see what else we got to do with this thing. Okay, so as you can tell, I have mounted the Blue Lab Guardian onto where I'd like it to be displayed at. I have selected the proper power adapter and plugged it in behind here. Uh, then it said to connect the pH monitor probe, which is this little guy here. It's got a cap with a uh, solution in it to protect the electronics on it. Uh, the next step, of course, is according to the directions that come with the unit to calibrate it. And so I'll go ahead and calibrate it. Okay, so you may notice the Blue Lab Guardian is now mounted up here, and this is actually a brand new, completely different unit from the beginning of the video. The one I ordered before, uh, I got off the internet, and it must have been a completely defective unit. Uh, so I had to take that back and went to my local shop and pick this guy up. Uh, I've already gone through the calibration of the unit, it's very simple. You just uh, take the pH probe out, and then you have your pH 7 solution, some water to rinse it in, and the pH 4 solution. Uh, you just hold down the pH calc button, it'll flash. You have the probe immersed in the 7.0, then you rinse it off. Then you put it in the 4.0 solution, and you hit the calibrate button again, and you'll calibrate your unit. Uh, they say the uh, conductivity uh, does not need to be calibrated, and it seems to be about right. Uh, but they do include a sachet of, of uh, electrical conductivity solution that you can use to check it out. Uh, right now, the only thing I really have left to do, since the unit is already in my reservoir tank, is you can set an alarm, and it'll flash if it exceeds or goes below certain set values. You can set it to your own custom values, or you can do a quick set, I believe it'll go up or down two tenths or so. So I'm going to go ahead and set that alarm. Okay, so to do the quick set alarm, there's a little bell icon on the button, that's the alarm button. Just hold that button in, and then it'll flash like so. And then you hit the little light button here, and it'll save the settings. And notice now the alarm button has a little light lit up right next to it. So that's the automatic alarm that's just been set. And like I said before, that'll indicate to me whether it exceeds or goes below 0.2 on the electrical conductivity or 0.5 on the pH value. And also temperature up or down 5 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So this is the Blue Lab Guardian pH monitor and electrical conductivity total dissolved solids monitor. And it fits really well with this system, just screwed it into the wood. And it's going to be really handy to be able to just walk by and see when the thing needs to be adjusted or not. Uh, so, so far I'm very happy with it, but it is quite new. For more interesting hydroponics related videos, check out thehydrocultivator.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.